power on, bump escape, F9, choose USB drive. Okay, we're going to do open file, same as before. I'm doing this from a weird angle. It's hard to see the screen. This is awkward as hell. Apologies in advance. <clears throat> My throat is killing me because of allergies too. So I'll enunciate even shittier than normal. So uh, the FIDE OSs, either FIDE OS or Open FIDE, when you boot them from Ventoy, I have yet to see the installer option work from the UI. So here's the workaround. If you've ever played with Cloud Ready um, multiple times, you've probably had to do this. Cloud Ready was pretty glitchy too. That's what was bought by Google and became the basis for their Flex OS. So here is the workaround uh, to manually initiate their installer. Uh, Control Alt F2. Okay. And username is Kronos. I'll put this stuff in the description. Now we're root. Um, since I've been playing with the same HP laptop, I know the hard drive. Uh, if you were doing this yourself, obviously, you would have to determine the partition layout and figure out the drive. Most of the time, it's SDA, but your mileage may vary, of course. Okay, we're at the weird angle. Let's see if I can type this. I gave up trying to use an external keyboard. That's even worse. Okay. So now we are just running a standard Chrome, Chrome Chromium OS install script. So you'll get an idea. Again, this is a, a laptop with an SSD and an i5-6200 CPU. So you can get an idea of expected speed. <clears throat> so Google Flex OS requires a separate stick. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Man. I always have a little keychain drive, super tiny, small, um, with me all the time. And on that drive, obviously, it, it's going to be Ventoy. That's my primary drive of choice. It's not going to have Google Flex. So if I can't get Brunch OS to play nice on hardware, then I'm going to fall back to something else that I could boot off of the stick. Um, that's going to be, most of the time, FIDE OS. Um, I also need to play with Open FIDE. Um, you can Google that. There's differences. Open FIDE is cleaned up without the proprietary stuff that some people are concerned about. Um, I haven't done much experimentation with Open FIDE and how to get Android apps to work on that. I don't know how to do the Play Store on it yet. Um, may or may not do a video on that. This just gets you where you need to be quick if you need to get an OS installed. This will get a Chromium OS up on a machine that Brunch OS won't work. And Fide OS has pretty good hardware support. I'm unsure if it is as good as Flex OS. I haven't installed Fide OS enough, but of course you can Google around.
I've even had luck. Uh, I forget the code name. I think it's Stony Ridge. I have a bunch of weird hardware, and I've got a batch of laptops that are running an AMD A9 APU or SOC, whatever they're calling it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, Fido West seems to work on those, so that's nice. I'm not demoing that because it's slow -er than this. But if you've got a single Ventoy stick and you know you just need to throw a Chrome Chromium OS on something really quick, here you go. Okay, let's do the initial boot. I'm remove the drive. Power. Oh, and by the way, um, I had previously nuked the partition table on the internal drive. Um, when you're dealing with booting and installing multiple iterations of Chrome, Chromium stuff, it can get weird if they detect an existing partition layout. So if something's acting weird when you're trying to do it, um, you can boot your Lubuntu or whatever, Linux, actually anything you want. Boot whatever you want that gives you the tools to nuke the partition table of the drives that are going to be your destination. That may help, if that makes sense. I used Lubuntu's partition manager and did that. Okay, so here we go. This is a standard Chromium OS. Um, a lot of people like this. So, I'm constantly flip-flopping around on what tools I'm using, um, driven by what I'm doing and the hardware that I'm working with. Um, still leaning towards Brunch OS. I just think it's more polished, um, more of a pain in the ass to install, but it's always nice to have options. And maybe if I'm running into more limitations with Fido OS, that'll lead me into like Bliss OS or something else. I, I don't have to be 100%. Um, I think with this combination of what I'm currently playing with, I've got enough hardware covered that the ones that I can't get working, I just won't even mess with. I, I don't have to be 100%. If I can get 80-90% of the hardware where I can get an OS up on it quick, because I'm doing a lot of PC recycling type stuff, um, I, I just need to get stuff up quick. Um, that's kind of my primary side gig right now. So, anyway... There you go. Um, what are we at? Oh, good. This is a short video. I won't have to uh, clip it. All right. There you go.